Good afternoon to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting and we're continuing with the Parson and the Squire Parts 3 and 4, The Village Concert, descriptive sketch by Rupert Hazel and Charles Penrose as the Reverend Mr Chance and Squire Kiddington. Here we go, try, try, try indeed, here we go viewers. I'm pleased to say, uh, I'm pleased to say we all enjoyed it. And now we'll get along with the concert. I do hope everything will be quite proper. The first item on the program will be a little song by Miss Susie Snaggle in Sipple, The Breath of Spring. I do hope everything will be quite proper. I sing of the flowers, smell so sweet, and skip along with everything. When I dip in the dark, and one for his nose, simple spring, simple spring. Uh -huh. oh. I saw that was a very sweet song. Oh dear, I caught it myself now. <laughs> and now we are to have a short phono fiddle solo by Mr. Rupert Hazel. I do hope. Oh, that shut up. Christ, Christ. <laughs> on to side two again. I thoroughly enjoyed the interval. The choir gave me a most delicious cup of tea. I don't know what he put in it, but I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that spoiled my enjoyment of the tea was the fact that his dog kept snapping and barking at me. I said, I fear your dog dislikes me. He said, not at all. He always does that when anybody drinks out of his cup. <laughs> <laughs> and now the squire and myself are going to regale you with a little duet. We are going to sing you a ditty. We hope you think that it's witty. It was written, you see, by the parson and me. But the fence has stopped you. What a pity. <laughs> There was a young lady named Christ, whose nose was a terrible sight. She said she drank tea every night, don't you see? But she went to bed horribly tired. <laughs> there was a young lady of Gloucester. Oh, no, 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 Squire, oh, not here. Quite, quite all right, Parson. Quite, quite all right. Sure. Yeah, quite sure. Now then, off we go. 
there was a young lady of Gloucester. She was a most awful imposter. She had beautiful hair, so wonderfully fair, and by shillings a bottle it cost her. That's a relief. Well, I told you it was the one you thought. <laughs> Besides, you're not supposed to know the other one, Bob. Great, 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 great. And now we are to have a little song by Miss Lost All Hope and Tittles, the sparrow, the bird. <laughs> but might I ask you please to bear with her? She has not been the same since she had her tonsils shattered in the Crimean War. Oh, do not frighten those silly tail sparrows away. But give them some fresh crumbs and then they will come back someday. Ooh, and they'll go to rest in their dear little nest. So ooh, do not frighten those silly tail sparrows. Oh, there we go, viewers. That's another one. <laughs> On to parts five and six. Five, five, five.